what's going on everybody so today I am starting the progress of upgrading my uh, custom firmware running PS3 to 4.82 custom firmware as you can see I have this rebug 4821 light version already uh, downloaded here on the right hand side but before you update your custom firmware unless you're updating the rebug which gives you the package installer you will want to update your multi-man if you're using uh, we'll say Rogero, Habib actually Habib has a package installer but aside from that for custom firmwares that are CEX based that do not have package installers I would recommend updating your multi-man because if you update your custom firmware your multi-man will not work so <coughs> what I have for you here for download is the base multi-man package and then the UPD which is the uh, stuff modifications for uh, stuff man as we would have called it back in the day so all I've done here is basically copied these two files which are right here to the root of a USB drive and uh, then other than that as you can see my base is right here for 482 and my 482 UPD is right there and I'll be going over how to install both of these on the PS3 system right now. Alright, so here I am at the custom firmware PS3. I'm running 4.80 Rebug at the moment. So what I'm going to do is go to uh, Package Manager. Now, a thing that I noticed too uh, with Package Manager, if you go and install it manually from Multiman itself, it's not going to work for some reason. There's like a bug with the Package Manager being installed and then you queuing your package files to be installed through Multiman. So if you don't have a package manager, if you go into your Multiman, which I'll show you real quick, boot that up. There's my nice little lamp in the background on the left hand side because I have to use my GoPro because my capture card doesn't work. Pass through capture card doesn't work. I don't understand. I have to build one myself. All right, so anyways, so you're going to come over to the MMCM logo on the top left-hand corner there. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to select Install Package Files. And you're going to hit X to Q, whatever one you want to install. So it will copy it to the queue. And then after you do that, you can hit Triangle to install the queued. And what it's going to do is it's going to take you back to the XMB of the PS3. Uh, like right now. There it is. And when you scroll down into your game category, like you'll see a little bubble for installation. Unless they put it in unknown, which I highly doubt they did. They did not. So, yeah. So... Oh, this is listed in here. Definitely not. All right. Well, see, for some reason with this package manager, it just doesn't show up. But if you don't have that, there's going to be like a little installation bubble shown on the screen. So I'm going to go through and use my package manager, install package files, and go to standard install from root directory. And huh, I got two of them. That's where it showed up. So it shows up inside your package manager. That's stupid. Fucking <laughs> kill two birds with one stone. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to install the base Multiman 482 right now. So I'm going to install that, and it should overwrite the Multiman I already have in existence on my system. And that is complete. So let us observe. Backup managers. Multiman. So we just have regular Multiman right now. And to confirm that it has been updated, I'll select the information and it says 482. See? 482. So now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to install the UPD, which I believe is the latest version of the stealth files of Multiman. So I'm just going to go ahead and install the UPD as well. Same version is already installed. Wonderful. Install complete. 
backup managers, and there we go. Multi-man, and again, information, 482, looks right. Let's open it up and see if they did any changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MMCM referred to here after, yep. Okay, so the UPD is the installation of the stealth files. So if you still use your PS3 online, install the package of UPD. So the whole install via the script text document is totally gone and it's just as a package rewrite over. So I'm just gonna hit yes for all these notifications. And yes, installing MMCM data to internal HDD. Yep, and that's it, that's the Stealth Man version. I don't know why they call it MMCM now, applying standard theme. And voila, so now we have our updated Multiman 482, which will work with 482 custom firmwares or lower. All right, so let's see. Uh, yeah, everything looks pretty much the same. Not much has changed. There's probably more system settings. Oh, install package files. That's great. Parental control pin code. MMOS access. Oh, so you can set the access to multi-man now. I wish you couldn't do that before. That looks new. Scan for homebrew applications. Okay. And everything else pretty much looks the same. Uh, theme audio. Animation. Yep, pretty much the same shit. So yeah, but now you have your multi-man loaded. And uh, that's pretty much it. And you can load your game backups here and all that fun jazz. So that's pretty much it. So rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy your newly updated multi-man version 4.82. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. And I'm going to have a custom firmware video out uh, in probably about... A day. So, talk to you guys later.